All right, we are kicking off a Whoa. very special series this month here on Fox 8 News in the morning. Yes, we are, and we are so very excited about it. It's, it's something that we're calling Cooking with Fire. Yeah, so each sense. Tuesday, we're visiting a different Cleveland fire station among more than the two dozen throughout the city of Cleveland. Yes, and so this morning, Stephanie Schaefer kicks us off, mm -hmm. and she's on the east side of fire station number 10 on Chester <laughs> Avenue, right over by Cleveland Clinic. Yeah. How about you are in good hands? Hey, guys. Hey. Yes. Oh, I am in the best hands. And this is how this all started. I ran in at the grocery store at Dave's Supermarket a few months ago. Two of the firefighters from Firehouse 10, and they had a full cart and were cooking. And were so gracious and said, hey, Steph, we watch you all the time. Come eat with us. So I'm like, this would be just a fun segment. So this is what we're all doing and really giving you an inside look and an inside view of these true heroes that work a job that is so incredible and one of these most senior dear sweethearts is phil it's so good to see you phil and we have ed here great to have you guys to so talk about you've been doing this for a long time one of the most senior firefighters in our city i am, I am. um i came on in 1981 i joined the iron guards 1988 and um there was a lady named betty worthy of the pipes and drums in 99 who actually convinced me to pick the drums up I was really kind of nervous about it, but she said she actually told me that um, everyone had their first time picking the sticks up, and that's where it started. So, so you are you participate in a lot of different, obviously parades and stuff like that, but a lot more than that. Um, parades, um, funerals, memorials, um, weddings. Okay, um, the pipes and drums are a very historic part of the fire department, but as any other type of music, is universal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can play any tunes anywhere; it will fit for the agenda that is, is set for. Why is it so, so important for the fire department, you guys, to do this? Like, what is that significance? Well, um, the fire department's origin started off in the Irish background, so this is an Irish-Scottish, you know, historic instrument, right? And it's part of them bringing their culture to the fire department as it is today, which is why, it's, um, you know, you see large with firemen, police, okay, because those are the two entities that um, nobody's wanted to do it. It started with the Irish. It is a pleasure to have yeah. you here. All right, play us something. You don't mind, Ed? All right, so wake us all up, okay? All right, so this is just a traditional, What I'm going to step out so you guys do this. Okay, so while they do that, I am going to take you over here. Okay, so... Another very important part of what these guys do. Hey, how do I get in here with you? Okay. All right. It is a pleasure to be with you. All right. Desisio. All right. So let's talk about the ladder and what you guys do with all of this stuff and the engine and everything else here. Okay. It's a 2016 Rosenbauer aerial tower ladder. It holds about 300 gallons of water and it uses about 2,000 gallons per minute. It's used for just about anything in the city besides fires, extrications from vehicles, BLS care, all sorts of stuff. Saving kitty cats and trees as well, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, all the time. Are we ready for to, to go for a little ride now? All right, so you're the driver. I'm just going to hang on really well. And, uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. All right, and this can go up about how high? 105 feet. Wow. And as we mentioned, too, hey, it's raining, but these guys do this during the rain, during the snow, you name it. Um, the equipment, incredible. How many trucks are normally here? How many what? How many trucks do you guys have here? We have two, one engine, MS ambulance. You guys are even out on a call right now. So the, you guys are working still. I mean, hey, we appreciate you guys being here with us on Fox 8. But you guys are still, you have stuff, business that's happening all the time. All a combination of everything because of the neighborhood. Fire, EMS related, emergencies, uh, patient care assists. Yeah, we're having some technical difficulties. Uh, they're just uh, probably just a little bit too far away to pick up our sound. But but that looks like fun. Yeah. Except if you're fighting a fire, then it wouldn't be so much fun. Right. But Hopefully, that, uh, Steph won't have to go out on a call. Yes. 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 But that, I've always wanted to, you know, get into one. Yeah, of those, but it's so interesting. Fires. There's such a 
uh, tight knit group, they are. you know, and it's they, a family. Yeah, they always do this cooking mm -hmm. on certain nights. Yep. And, and I love their schedules: 24 on, 48 off. Yeah. You know, that's a beautiful thing. Yep. But when they work, they work. Uh, yeah. They are mm -hmm. real life heroes.